Good morning. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Delaware County Commissioner's meeting. It is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. The time is 909. If everybody could please stand for the pledge. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Denise, can you call the roll? Or Ed, can you call the roll? Yes. Mr. Henry. Mr. King. Here. Ms. Reagan. Present. Mr. Brooke. Here. And just to let everybody know, we're trying to get uh, Commissioner Henry on uh, on here from a Zoom meeting. He's home. He had knee surgery last Friday. That's the reason why he's not here today. But as soon as we can get him connected, he should be joining us shortly. So we'll move to appointments. Uh, Meridian Mental Health Board. Yes, um, we should be having a seat for the uh, Meridian um, Board. And um, I would like to ask James Mr. Commissioner King, if he would so move to represent us. Yes, I, I, I will, Sherry. Uh, you put that in the motion? Yes. I'll so second much. it. Can you call the roll, Ed? Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Next, we'll move to approval of minutes for February 21st, 2023. So move has presented. I'll second it. Hey, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Saint Ray. Next, we'll go to contracts and agreements for approval. First one's the Community Foundation Grant Mobile Dispatch. Mr. Cummings. So this was a twenty-five thousand dollar grant towards the mobile dispatch vehicles that we have. Um, so I. I need you to create an ordinance and um, hopefully suspend the rules so that we can deposit that. We do have the check. Can everyone make sure to state your name and- Fred Cummings, now one director. Sorry about that. I forget every time. John, do you have an ordinance on that created? There is. It is ordinance 2023-007. So we'll you want to do it now. We're going to do it under the ordinances. You, they can do it whenever they want to. You said 2023-007? Yes, that's the for the EMS Community Foundation grant. Okay. So it's not going to go under 911. It's going under EMS? Oh, it should be 911. I I may have told Sarah wrong. I'm sorry. It should be 911. Correct that. They just call it, it 911 Communication. Community Foundation. 911 Community okay. Foundation grant. I'll make a motion uh, to introduce ordinance 2023-007 ordinance for EMS Community Foundation Grant. Well, 911 Community Foundation Grant. Second. Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Then I'll make a motion we suspend the rules on ordinance 2023-007. Second. Ed, can you call the roll? King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Ms. Henry. I make a motion we adopt ordinance 2023-007. Second. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Ms. Henry. Thank you. Ed. Thank you. The ordinance as written is correct. It does okay. emergency communication center. So. Okay. All right. Next, we have local roads and bridge matching grant agreement. Angie. Good morning, commissioners. This morning. is for the um, award we received back in December. This is a standard NDOT boilerplate contract, but the funding is for road paving projects, uh, Walnut Street from 900 North to Eaton Wheeling Pike, Black Cemetery between State Road 28 and Gregory Road, 550 East from Gregory Road to Eaton Albany Pike, 800 West between 67 to 700 South and Proctor Road between 350 South and 400 South. 
So in dot award is three percent matching funds to pay those roads. In the three hundred fifty two thousand three hundred thirty nine dollars and ninety nine ninety one fifty two three thirty nine. Yeah. But actually, we just opened bids and award them last meeting. It came in under our estimate, so good. That we'll have a fifty percent total match for that project. So move. Second. Ed, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Reagan. Yes. Stan Ray. Next, we'll go to agreements for consulting services. Uh, I have Donna's name on here, but. It's a agreement for her uh, and a request from Ed. Okay. <clears throat> Would you like to explain to Say sure. anything? Ed? Don's going to retire at the end of this month, so it's the 31st. So, <clears throat> because of her retirement, we've asked that she uh, retain on a contractual basis and as needed. So, that's the request of the commissioners. And the um, request of $25 per hour is a, a bargain for Donna's knowledge. And I commend you on coming up with this idea because uh, she will be missed. and. Uh, and she is appreciated. That's the same rate we used. Uh, I, I guess the office used about five years ago for uh, tax sale consultants. So. Okay. I yeah. move the accept the agreement as presented. Second it. Yeah, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Ms. Tenry. Next, we'll move to agreements for consulting services, Dossett Consulting. This is another one from the auditor's office, but this is an annual one. We've had uh, Jeff Dossett in this county for a number of years. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Ms. Henry. Next, we'll move to government utilities, technical service, two-year addendum. Hello. Kathy Butterfield, Delaware oh. County Treasurer's Office. And this is just to extend the contract for two years with uh, guts for the tax sale. We should each have it. Well, so this is another one we use every year too, isn't it, John? Yes. Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Ms. Henry. While you're there, Kathy, we'll go ahead and do the other one for Schneider Geo. You want to explain this a little bit? Mm -hmm. um, Brad and I have talked with uh, Commissioner Henry, and I'm pretty sure he talked to each of you individually. Um, our, we have a huge increase in calls um, wanting past taxes. Yeah. Um, this year alone, probably in the first three months, we've had up to 3,500. Yesterday alone in two phone calls, they wanted 50 parcels. It just really chews up our time in the office to be on the phone um it would and it's not just the phone it's it's emails as well yeah so we were um approaching you with the help to uh have that put on the web and you have the paperwork there with the cost of three thousand five hundred twenty eight dollars to get that on the web and it's a one-time setup fee yeah and I, then they can just go straight to the web and they can pull i be, i believe bruce was looking at five years is that correct go back Five years. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's a bargain. And uh, yeah, that Schneider beacon is uh, so easy to use and appreciate you uh, filling in for <laughs> Mr. Hope that couldn't be here today and did a nice job. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, move that we adopt this. Second. Ed, will you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Ms. Henry. Thank you, Kathy. Next, we have uh, grants for the Sheriff's Department. Captain Johnson. Good morning. morning. Uh, Captain Tony Johnson, Delaware County Sheriff's Office. Um, I'm here with one grant in hand, and that's our uh, JAG grant that we work uh, jointly with in the city. Uh, we use that every year for enhanced patrols, but Primarily, we use that toward the Delaware County Fair for security for the fair during that time. So I'd like to uh, like to submit this, and if I could, I'd like to get the rules suspended on it so we can get it posited. 
I know this is a grant we do every year yep. also. Correct. So I'll make a motion to introduce the Delaware County's uh, JAG grant. Second. Ed, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Reagan. Yes. Ms. Henry. <clears throat> then I'd like to suspend the motions on the Sheriff's Department's JAG grant. Second. Ed, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Mr. Reagan. Yes. Ms. Henry. Then I'd like to make a motion to adopt the JAG grant. Second. Adopt ordinance 2023-09. Mr. Hey, King. Roll, please? Yes. <clears throat> Ms. Reagan. Yes. Do you have another one? Got yeah, another? actually, the second one that I have is actually, I'm, I'm just asking for permission to uh, look into some grants that might help us look at, at a, we're calling it a, a multi-agency response vehicle. It's basically an up-armored vehicle for our SWAT team that we could use in times of emergency, uh, one that could be used to help any agency within the county or surrounding county should they need us. Uh, the way that we're doing business now are more designed the surrounding call out way. We used to go into the house uh, pretty fast and now we kind of slow down and we, we kind of move in a little bit at a time, uh, but it requires a little bit more protection for our guys since we're out there surrounding the house and an armored vehicle would definitely help us with that. So I have two, uh, two that we're currently looking at right now. One is the Gary Sinise Foundation. Uh, we're going to make an uh, application for them and the other is a grant through the state homeland security program uh, we're going to look to see if they can help us with the funding for this vehicle i have no problem yeah john we don't have to put this into a motion do we for them just to pursue looking no, they for the grant. Ahead. once they get it then you can accept it so okay, okay. yeah All right. i misunderstood yeah. i thought we needed to come to you before we well they, they've given you a consensus actually of, of pursuing it so okay yeah All right. um do you not have a, an older vehicle that we you do. use now? We so? do, and I couldn't even tell you how old that armored yeah. car that we have is. It's every bit of 20 years old. So it'll be going to the... Do you have any plans for it? Well, I mean, I, it could be used as a backup vehicle. If I had two armored vehicles, it does work. It'd be better to have two. Right now I have an armored vehicle and I have a utility vehicle that I can use, but an extra armored vehicle, more current and more up-to-date would by all means be preferable. Thank you. All right. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you. Next, we'll move to uh, memorandums of understanding. Uh, Jamie. Good morning, commissioners. Jamie Bain, Health Department Administrator. Uh, the MOUs you guys should have are uh, similar to the Yorktown MOU that you guys took care of last month for us. Uh, these are MOUs, very basic, that spell out the terms for us to disperse uh, some grant money to our local school corporations. I make a motion we accept the memorandum of understanding. All five of them. Six, yep, all five. five. Okay. Second. Hey, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll move to ordinances for first reading. We've already done two of the ordinances. The next ordinance would be 2023-008, ordinance to extend the moratorium on solar farms. <clears throat> yes, this is an ordinance uh, based on the comments from the last meeting to extend the moratorium in the county on solar farms until at least August so the solar committee can do their work at the plan commission and then the recommendations can be brought to the commissioners okay john do we need to because i know we discussed and i believe we at our last meeting uh, we voted on creating this ordinance or so is this going to be our first or second reading this will be the first reading on this on this one yeah okay so move. Second. Mr. King. Yes. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. You can suspend the rules on this one That's because your moratorium technically expired February 22nd. Yep. So I'll make a motion to, to suspend the rules. Second. 
Hey, can you call the roll? Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Then I'll make a motion to adopt 2023-008. Second. Hey, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. We have no ordinances for second reading, so we'll move to resolution for approval. Resolution 2023-008, identifying a certain property to be transferred to a non-for-profit. This is the start of the process to, there's a piece of property that was in the uh, tax sale. The commissioners uh, received a tax sale certificate on that didn't sell. Uh, and so this is to start the process for having the public hearing to decide, uh, you know, the not-for-profit agency to receive the property. I'll make a motion to approve resolution number 2023-008. Second. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Do we have any department heads, elected officials that would like to speak? Craig Cummings, now on director. Um, I've begun some preliminary discussions with the council. Um, we are, we are incre we're still incredibly challenged in trying to find people to fill spots at the 901 Center. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I've come up with is, is possibly offering a lateral transfer stipend for experienced dispatchers. And I was told by the members of the council that the first step I have to do is come to you and ask for you to create a line under the salary section um, to to allow lateral transfer stipends. I have put in a, an appropriation request for March meeting of the council, um, but in order to have a line to put that in, um, if they approve it, I need you guys to create that line. This has never been done before, and it's just something that we've probably needed. And I yeah, appreciate you working on it. One of the things they asked for was a was a set of stipulations of, of how this would work. And I've submitted a rough draft to John um, for him to review. Um, there would be rules about this. You have to have a certain amount of experience as a, as a 901 dispatcher. Um, and the bonus is, is or stipend is, is set to be paid um, in steps. So the hope is that we will attract some people that are already certified and, and maybe maybe fill the four positions that we have currently open so can you tell us how much the stipend would be um, i put an appropriation request for twenty thousand dollars so the stipends would be five thousand dollars each <clears throat> and could you sort of explain how to be paid out yep so th there'll be a there'll be a requirement that they that they be a certified 911 dispatcher for at least a year um, they will have to go through our training program to make sure that they, they meet our, our requirements. Once that happens and they've successfully passed that, they would get the first half of the stipend. And then six months from that date, with satisfactory performance, they'd get the other half. Okay. <coughs> so really, it could be almost a whole year before they get the full amount, Correct. right? Yes. Anything to help you get your staff up i'm in favor of john could you create an ordinance i've got his information i was going to uh, take a look at it and then uh, work with fred on putting together whatever we need this will also have to involve probably the county council too right because there's some appropriation yeah they had, they had said that and i don't know exactly how this works but they said that you have to create a, a line that actually has an account number so that when I go to them this month, if they if they agree to appropriate the money, it has some place to go. We'll have to create the ordinance to create the line item for the money to actually go into. Okay. We can't actually do it today. That's fine. But you work with John, we could probably pass it at the next meeting on the twentieth. Okay. Which would should be right before the council meeting so we could have it done before the council meeting because so, yeah. we can suspend the rules to get it done okay thank you yeah, thank, thank you. you i got one one more okay we'll do it. But, huh? we can wait till after the record's fine okay 
Morning, Rick. Good morning, Commissioner. Rick Spangler, Delaware County Clerk. I am sad to be in front of you this morning, but as you guys know, the Oak Center resolution failed again in Delaware County. So the responsibility of approving boat uh, polling stations falls back on the commissioners. Uh, I have before you a list of the polling sites for this year's elections. I ask for your approval and I ask that you direct your staff to send the contracts out since she's new. I'll be trying to work with her to do this first one, but, mm -hmm. but if you could do that for me this morning, I'd appreciate it. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Yeah, can you call the roll, please? Mr. King. Yes. Mr. Reagan. Yes. Mr. Henry. Thank you. Yeah, Rick, it's hard sometimes. You work so hard and one person. Oh, yeah. It happens. Anyone else? Steve Foster, building superintendent for Delaware County. I just want to update you guys on a few things. Uh, one is the roof out at the Justice Center. I'm getting with John on that to get that going. The recent power outage out at the Justice Center, I'm getting working on trying to get more emergency power out there. Um, and this is something I'll talk to John about. I have, so out at the Justice Center, obviously Chuck came to you guys about wanting walls built out there. We got the ongoing problem with the auditorium. With the, I fixed some of the lighting there, but we got some lighting problems there. We need to get taken care of and get that up to date. And then obviously we got the maintenance area. So I just, uh, we're gonna have to know that, I mean, in previous, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to get a hold of, we're gonna have to get architect and everything else involved. And I think you guys have a print that they finally sent us. So maybe getting with you guys. This building, I just got a quote today on the heatings to start working on that. Um, other than that, just to, probably going to be a few things in the next couple of months. Come to you guys with some need some money. You won't be the only one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the head notice. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'd like it in writing if you'd have time. So. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, Dave, you did you did call me yesterday. I was in a mediation till about eight o'clock last night. So I'll give you a call. Okay. Whenever you're ready. All right. I know you said you're busy, so. Your turn. <clears throat> My turn. Yep. So this is a request for a transfer. This is part of the ARP money administrative fees and we're requesting a transfer from the retention bonus to the employee uh, ARP administrative cost. I talked to Shannon last week about this. Essentially it's to to pay for the administrative cost our office incurs for the people who work on the ARP uh, money. Yeah. Don't we do we have, have to do any well, certain thing I, I mean uh sometimes it's probably beneficial to let us all know before the meeting there's 2.2 million dollars for administration costs aren't there right okay so this in addition to that no it's just from that. right right now that money set up to pay for it uh, as a 1099 we can't yeah. pay 1099 to employees oh so this is to pay employees salaries on top of that so do we have to move anything out of the administrative funds to no. anywhere to pay All I was doing this? is creating a line item so that the employees can be compensated for that. But do we have to create? You're going to have, you'd have to amend the to plan. create that? I, no, I don't think you have to create an ordinance. I think you have to just basically what he's asking for is an amendment to the plan so that the administration project, whatever number it is, I can't remember what number it is, whatever the number is that that administration can also be used for uh, additional pay for employees for salary for administering the art. So, I have no problem with it. I just want to make sure that when we do it, it's done right. Uh, can you work on that to sort of change that for the 20th, John? Yes. Will that work, Ed? Yeah. We can get it done that way. Sure. All right. Anything else? Hey, Donna, when's your last day? Hey, are you, done? you, Donna. <laughs> Patterson. When's your last March, day? March 31st is my last physical. So she'll be around the 20th, right? Go 31st. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else? We'll move to payment of claims. 
an amount of $944,655.67. Also, the payment of ARP claims, an amount of $7,768.37. So move. And I will second that. Mr. King. Yes. Ms. Reagan. Yes. Next, we'll move to public comments. We have one person that signed up, Mr. Yenser. Rick Yenser, newsman and author of Muncie. Um, I've got a couple issues that we found on our community Facebook gathering called Delaware County Community Awareness, roads and addiction. As you well know, the city had just spent some opioid settlement money on this new crisis center in South Muncie. Uh, I remember there was a, um, I think about 500 million, the attorney general reported last winter that came to Indiana from that national settlement and not settlements from various uh, retailers or providers. Delaware County and Muncie's share was nearly $6 million. Now, uh, the city has plans for more uh, means to go to some of these groups, but I haven't heard anything out of the county. And I think some people want to know what you're going to do with your share of that settlement. You know, there are a lot of different groups out there from Brianna's Hope, to Recovery Cafe and other groups, even old groups like NA and AA, that you might want to consider supporting. And there's a new group down here on Madison Street called The Norm that helps people, uh, not only those of addiction, but people that are homeless. Uh, the other issue, roads, as you all know, many people uh, complain about the road and street conditions here. Uh, I'm glad to see the county's being proactive of using money from the state. Uh, Congress appropriated billions in that infrastructure bill last fall. And I haven't heard too much out of local government about whether they're applying for this money. I think I read about a month ago that Indianapolis didn't make the cut in an application process. I don't know the minutia of how this money filters down, but if there are applications that the government is seeking part of this money for roads uh you might want to tell the people about it because i hear nothing but complaints about roads and streets in this community thank you mr yenser i can tell you that we use tiff dollars to pave our roads and plus to do our bridges uh, we also use the community crossing grant to help pave roads we also use our wheel tax money uh, we invest a lot of money since i've been a commissioner We've invested a lot of money within our bridges and our roads. Thank you. All right, we have nobody else signed up. I move we recess. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, we're going to recess. Thank you. John. Are you going back?